Well, here we are at uh, the hotel room. Uh, the Rolling Stones. Would it be too corny to say the Rolling Stones who gather no moss? Oh, no. Forget it, eh? Has everybody said that to you so far? Or made puns in America? When certain places, one finds that they say it. Oh. Other places, they don't. Okay, so we didn't say it here today. We'd like to uh, meet the fellows right now, starting off with... Bill. Brian Jones, how do you do? Mick Jagger. Keith Richard. We're going to try and get the others. Charlie won. Okay. In Montreal, um, but not for the first time in North America. You've been here before, haven't you? Yeah, we've been to the States uh, four times altogether, twice to work and twice on a visit, passing through to Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, you weren't too impressed with the South, were you, Bill? Well, the Midwest and that is a bit quiet over there. But uh, we don't, you don't have to go to the Midwest, do you? No, no, I guess not. What are some of the towns that impressed you the most um, through the States, Brian? New York and Los Angeles are about the only ones impressed, actually. And they did impress us very much. We like them. Uh, I think Chicago's all right, but, and uh, there's a little place in Texas called San Antonio, which we had a good time in. But, uh, Ooh, yeah. I, I like the States, but uh, with reservation. What reservation? Well, uh, I don't like some of the American attitudes. You know. Are they... I don't want to go into it. No? Okay, we won't offend any American audiences. Uh, in Canada, have you worked uh, before, Mick? We ne we've never worked here before. Mm -hmm. no, we, we tried to get in once, I think, but Keith didn't have a passport. We could have got out of America into Canada, but we couldn't have got back into America again. No, really to say. Keith had lost his That's passport. That's when we were in Detroit. Oh, I see. There's a lot of uh, red tape involved. I suppose, did you want to come over to Windsor? Or yeah, yeah, right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's right. And they wouldn't let you across? No, because well, Keith left across. his passport. They, they, they said it was very doubtful if they let us back in again. And so since we had to play in Detroit that night, there wasn't much point in going. That's a really friendly attitude, eh? <laughs> uh, that, I've landed in Winnipeg. Yes. And on the way back yes, from Los Angeles last Winnipeg. time, I was going back home from Los Angeles to London, left Los Angeles, it was about 85 degrees, landed about two hours later in Winnipeg, and it was minus one. So, uh, oh, boy, that's quite a change. Do you get a chance yeah. to get out, um, to see some of the towns that you're going to? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, we do sort of, like, we go. Out oh, and about. Out. Well, you have to do this interview, actually. Oh. <laughs> yeah, go shopping or go to a club in the evening, you know. We like to get about it. You know, you, you can become so trapped in hotels, you feel like you're in prison, you know, so it's nice to get out. How long will this North American tour um, be lasting? About four Three. weeks, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we go back. I don't know what we do when we get back, exactly. Mm -hmm. We're going to Scotland, then to Scan then Scandinavia. Scandinavia? We're going back to Scandinavia. We just come, we were in Scandinavia about uh, three weeks ago. And then we, we came straight virtually from Paris to here. Paris. We had two late days in London. We came from Paris, London here. You must have had a good time in Paris. Eh? Oh, yeah. The Paris, I like Paris. We've been there a couple of times. What are some of your uh, favorite groups? I guess you know some personally when you admire some of their work musically. Ryan? Mm. Well, I, I mean, uh, we all like uh, uh, virtually the same American artists. I don't know whether you're talking about American sort of artists or the English groups. You know, I don't know. Um, we like... Uh, I don't, we like James Brown and Solomon Burke and Wilson Pickett and people like that. Don't we, fellas? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Everybody's unanimous. Uh, has there been any reaction to the American groups going over um, the Tamil Motown review with the uh, Supremes and uh, Marvin Gaye and people like this? Any reaction to anything? Marvin Gaye didn't go. And uh, unfortunately, there was no reaction. The whole tour bombed terribly. There's been uh, the, the British musical press and the uh, record company blurbs have been they've been saying oh there's a great big sort of Tamla Motown scene in England everybody wanted to see them that's your fact they don't all the 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 Supremes had a couple of uh, very big hit records mm -hmm. and that's about all you know yeah, nobody else has, uh, Marvin Gaye's never had a hit no, unfortunately no I Marvin a couple of little hits in, in England you know unfortunately and especially the they did well in London you know which was inevitable really because it was mm. quite a good show but outside of London they did nothing. In Bristol, I believe. I was told that in Bristol, which is, is a big city, they, they only sold about eight pounds worth of tickets. Eight uh, pounds worth of tickets? That's about, what's that, 80, that's about t just over twenty dollars worth of tickets, that's all. So they gave the rest of the seats away and it was still only about half full. What's the reason for this? Because we've had so many British groups Lack coming over here. Lack of taste. Lack of taste. Yes. Oh. No, but they, they don't, they're, they're not, um, <laughs> inter outside of London, in, you see, in London, Tamla Motown, people will say, oh, yes, Tamla Motown's great and everything. And they, they will go and see them, but outside London, they're not really interested. And it was billed as a Tamla Motown review. Or if it had been billed, say, as the Supremes, uh, you know, and Georgie Fame, who happened to be on the bill, who had a number one record. 
Mm. It would have been it done, better. done better, but they drilled at Tamla Motor and outside of London. No, people are very different. know what it was on about. I mean, what's Tamla Motor? They, they, just, they probably thought Tamla Motor was a person, you know. Well, listen, next week we're going to come back and we're going to find out more about you and uh, find out about your aspirations and about your stay here in Montreal, okay? <laughs> Perspiration News Van, okay. The Rolling Stones here, and join us again, of course, next week for part two of our interview, okay? Before a music came along and the Rolling Stones, Johnny? I was a designer. Mm -hmm. yeah. In what field? In fashion or? Uh, Tooth advertising. In advertising? Would you like to get back into this field eventually? Do you still have a big interest in? No. No? Perhaps make the answer. 